So I want to talk about whales today. I am I usually I actually have five, but I'm not really sure where the purple one is. And so we won't talk about that one except that it came in a cage and it was really small and it doesn't work. So I don't suggest the ones that come with plastic cages. This one is a silent spinner. Um, you can still hear it when they're running on it because Charlie will. After a while, it starts to. The back of it will start to move out of place and um, he's already broken. Some of them break pretty easily because he's broken two. This is his third, maybe even fourth wheel. I don't know. So, but I do like this one because it's big. He fits in there. He doesn't have to crouch in a very small area. Um, it has no holes in it. Um, I just really like it. You can also put it on a separate stand. So you don't have to have it on the middle if they make it clink. I just won't put it on the stands just so he has more space to hide and play and dig and whatever else. So it's on the top. Um, this is in Presley's and Riley's cages. Cages. This is five dollars. Oh, that was thirteen bucks. A silent spinner at Pet Smart. So this one came from Animal Ark. Um, got it for five bucks. Oops. Um, that's the downfall with this. Um, this piece back here doesn't hold and I have to fix it a lot um, but I bought it because it was really cheap and they weren't interested in their will like at all Presley is not interested in it so I might have to get them a better one but this one has some holes in it I don't know if it's to help ventilation or you want to be cheaper <laughs> I don't know but it's I don't like it because they are now finding ways to chew on it it's really hard to tell but they have definitely been chewing right here and that's not good um, I do like it because it's solid again no holes but again it doesn't doesn't say and I can probably just pull it off if I really want it to but it won't come off and I'm not going to disturb Charlie he's sleeping um, up here is the wire one um, it's quiet for the most part um, I don't use it for my gerbils I was at first because it's the only one that Presley would use and I finally got him used to one that wasn't wired. Um, or I think it's just the fact that this is open on both sides and this is not and I think that's probably what bothered him. Um, but I, what I like about this one is the fact that this can, you can clip it in if you really want it to and make it stay. Um, and they can get in from either side. Um, my hamster uses this one. Um, she likes it. Um, and her feet are big enough so they're not going to get stuck in there. And the hamsters obviously don't have tails, so it's no worry. So I like that one. It's nice. Um, and you could hang it, I guess, if you really, if you could. Hang it from the side. or um, I probably could even hang it from the top. But I'm not sure. I haven't tried it out. I usually just set it down and she's happy with it. This is actually not technically a wheel. It's a... Um, a saucer or a saucer, um, just because like this. Gerbils have no patience with it; <laughs> they won't touch it. But um, because the hamsters are t smaller, they or the dwarf hamsters are really tiny, they actually like this one. Um, the downfall, I would say, is probably um, if your hamster or whatever has babies, they'll put it on there, it'll just keep but I feel that's probably not as bad as it would be if they were spinning on this wheel, because wheels I don't know, babies just don't go very well um, again, that's how I feel about wheels, again I like the silent spinner the best um, this one, if you see this type of, type of one, I wouldn't get it it falls apart really easily wired ones are great for animals that can deal with it um, that don't have tails or very very tiny feet um, and it does make a little bit squeak squeak noise, but it's not all that bad. This just depends on your pet. They, if they want to be picky, they can be picky, but, um, so there you have it.